Morning, boys. It's a great day to be alive because I'm a duck hunter. I'm out here by myself doing a solo duck hunt with my 20 gauge shotgun. It is a Franke Effendi Elite 3.0. I will be doing a review on it pretty soon. Just haven't really uh, taken the time to do it. And I wanted to shoot a little bit more. I think I've only shot, I shot it once in Washington. That's the only time I've shot it. And I think I only put literally like five or six shells through it. I'm out here at a refuge that has some pretty different rules just for you guys to see a little bit of kind of the rules that California has at some of its refuges. First off, you can always only take 25 shells at a time, which is if you can't get your limit by then, you deserve to take the walk of shame. And trust me, I've taken the walk of shame before, but it's nice just having extra shells, you know, whatever. I'm just letting you know that's our rules out here on our public refuges. Also... This refuge is even crazier. You can take one box, which is 25 shells. If you don't shoot your limit or you still, you shot all your shells, you wanna keep shooting, you're done. You're done. You cannot go back out, get shells from the parking lot, from your truck, and then go back out. You're done, hunt's over. So you definitely wanna make your shots count here. Like I said, I got the 20 gauge and I'm pretty excited about shooting it. The only bummer, just to let you guys know, I will not have the shot cam because I don't have the bracket for it yet, but it should be here this week so anyways it's just me and rocky solo duck hunt 20 gauge let's go so my cart broke the other day and i've been been hunting me and thomas been hunting together obviously uh but i don't have one today because thomas is hunting somewhere else so i'll be dragging my sled that is the first time i've done that believe it or not but these are actually made to do that it's a medium-sized jet sled you guys have asked this before i was going to take the solo blind out but since i'm hunting out of a pit i'm going to leave that here so i won't need my chair or a 360 blind. All right, guys, staying simple today. Blind bag, ground blind for Rocky. It's a Rig'em Right. Something to drink, 20 gauge shotgun. I'll show you guys a little bit more of that. And then four spoony decoys on a jerk rig system. It's a motion ducks jerk rig system. If you want, you can check them out. I really like them. You're gonna see. Check it out in the description below. I'll link it in a gorgeous black lab. That's all you need right there, folks. The necessities of life. I forgot to mention that I gotta go to work. So this is a pre-work hunt and it's super foggy, but uh, this place might not mess it up. There might be a couple. So if I can shoot one or two birds, I will be completely stoked today. All right, guys, I made it out here. It took me about 12 minutes or so. So usually I got the cart and the sled together. That's why I stayed light. Here's the issue. I brought the motion ducks with the four decoys because a little spread is better when there's no wind to have movement than a big spread with no movement. But if there is wind, <laughs> you want a bigger spread because all your decoys are gonna be moving and uh, you want a bigger spread. So now I'm stuck with a smaller spread with wind and it's about 10, 10 miles an hour. Uh, it should be a crossing shot with the way the wind direction's blowing and the way these pits are. It looks pretty cool in here. I don't know. We'll see. Sit, sit. Rocky. Yes, baby. Over. I don't care what. He didn't even see it fall. Over. Yes. Oh, dude, I'm stuck. Over. Here. Get him back, come on. Dude, I whacked that thing. I'm hoping that was a drake, guys. Over! Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Here. I shoot the hand. I probably did. Here, come on, bud. Uh, 
Good boy. I don't even care. I couldn't, it's so foggy, I couldn't even tell what the drake was. Hand mallard. Yes. Thank you, foggy day. Here, sit. 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 Good boy, leave. Dude, that smoked her. Yes, baby, yes. Dude, walk on, no resi, no lottery, and just dropped. Holy cow, look at this. Look at that. No resi, no lottery, and just shot a mallard walk on in one of the harder refuges you can never get drawn. I'm gonna be thankful. I wanna, I'm gonna, I wanna, my nature wants to say I wish it was a drake. Do you know what? I said if I come out here and get one bird, I'd be stoked, man. I am so stoked. With the 20 gauge, boom, I mean, folder. She's probably 25 yards. I'm stoked. I'll leave a happy man. And I gotta leave like in about an hour and a half. All right, guys. While there was a little bit of a lull in the shooting and the birds, I wanted to show you guys the gun I was using today. It's got the oversized button what I, that I really like. And I love this timber color. Also, I'm going to show you guys the shells I'm using. That zonk that bird. Alright guys, so here's the shells I'm using. The Heavy Hammer 20 gauge 3 inch 3 shot. They really worked good on that. As you can see, they zonked that, that hen. It's a 1 ounce load. There it is. What's wrong, Bubba? Hmm? Bored? To say the least, I am stoked that I came out here before work, hunted about an hour and a half, shot a mallard. I'm kicking myself now, like, because I don't know why I didn't try to double up. They were plenty close. I guess I was so stoked that I dropped that one so hard, like, she didn't even flutter. I didn't know for sure what was the drinker hand. I literally tried to identify, I couldn't. It was just too dark and foggy, but I seen a couple, three, uh, a three pack of wood ducks over that way, which is a lot more timber looking stuff. and. I couldn't get him to come over, and I don't have a wood duck call anyways, but I still use this motion ducks out here with these spoonies. I really believe that that sucked in that those mallards, because I was pulling it. I didn't even see nothing. I was just tucked down in this blind, and I'm sitting here pulling this like this, and then I look over to my right, and there's two mallards literally 25 yards away. So to get out here with my brand new 20 gauge, my dog, shoot a mallard in a decent range, on a public refuge that gets lots of pressure. And then, call it a day. I got meat for the freezer, and I'm gonna be thankful that I got a bird. I would say, oh man, I wish it was a drake. And I do say that because I don't like shooting hens, but more so for breeding purposes, but for the just the fact, I'm stoked. It's gonna taste good. I love mallard. Been cooking it, been pan searing it with the skin on, it's delicious. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna be able to hunt today. So the fact, Sorry, I thought I saw two ducks. I'm wishing I would have had a lot of decoys, but you know, it said no wind this morning, so I kind of went off the weatherman, which, shocker, he wasn't right. It's funny, I've, I was getting in line, getting ready to check in, and two, a guy walks past me, two guys walk past me, and the one guy goes, hey Titus, and I was like, hey buddy. <laughs> Just walked right past me and was running out there. So I don't know. I guess he knew me from the videos or something, but it was just kind of funny. Anyways, whoever you were, man, thank you for saying hi. Comment down below if you uh, want to introduce yourself. That's it. I'm rambling now. It's time to get to work. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the holiday season. Get out there with friends, family, and kill some ducks. We'll see you guys on the next one.